Let's go to Miranda, who's on the line in Providence, Rhode Island. Miranda, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hey, Ken, how are you today? I'm living the dream, Miranda. How are you? I'm doing well. What's um, going I'm on? I'm calling. So I'm in school right now. I'm a full-time student, um, and I'm looking at two different potential careers. Okay. Um, so first off, I really I like the idea of being a business owner. I don't want to be an employee the rest of my life. I really see myself as somebody that can walk away from a business and come back a year later after traveling and enjoy my business. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love um, it. You want to be an entrepreneur who marches to the I beat do. of her own drum. I do. I get it. So but, what's the other option? So I really have this passion for nutrition. My youngest daughter, who is not even 18 months yet, has all of these food allergies. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've had a couple of months to kind of figure out what her allergies are and adapt to them. And I'm having to cook all these different foods and all these different things that I would never dream of. Mm -hmm. I'm reading all these labels and Mm -hmm. I really have a passion for it. Like I really like helping people meal prep. Like when somebody tells me that they can't have some foods, I'm like, Oh my gosh, it's okay. Like there's other foods out there that you can eat. And I love, (laughs) right. I love doing that and helping people, but I really, I, I feel like being an employee, you're never going to get ahead. I'm never going to have the life that I want. Well, hold on. And I, All right. Time out. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I, I, yes. I love that you called that a feeling because that is a feeling and a feeling is not a fact. Okay. All right. So that's, okay. that's hogwash. The fact that you might have to work for somebody else for a while. And I'm not saying you have to. We're going to get to that momentarily. But that's just hogwash. Okay? I worked for a lot of people. And, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, employment is honorable and work is honorable. And I know so many people that work for somebody else while they're trying to launch their dream. I started today's show off reading a guy, Rick's email, and how he stepped into his own company. But he was doing it on the side for a while. So that's just silly. So now let's okay. go back to the start of the phone call. You said you, you were basically you're in school full time and you've got two choices. Obviously, the one is launching a business. Am I understanding that correctly? That's one option in yeah. your mind. And the other option is what? A nutritionist or a dietitian. Oh, it's okay. Like what? Okay, so here's what I think. I think that you become a nutritionist. Is that what you're in school for? I'm in school. Well, I'm finishing up my general studies this semester. So next semester, I have to pick a career. Right. But I mean, why'd you go to school? Mm, I don't know. You don't know. Let me ask you another question. Do you have to have a four-year degree to become a nutritionist? Yes. Okay, good. So you're doing what you need to do anyway. So I'm just wondering if this is not the path. That Miranda, you become a nutritionist. And you work for somebody else and you gain some valuable knowledge. I think you get some yeah. wisdom working for somebody else because your eyes are roving. You're not just in there fulfilling a role. You're watching how that person runs the place. And you're going to school right. on how they run it. Okay. And eventually, you're going to run your own place. And that current job or the job you'll get getting out of school is going to help you fund your dream. Okay. And you launch that dream on the side. So you go in, you're a nutritionist by day. At night and on the weekends, you're continuing to fuel the dream of having your own company. And I'm just wondering if that own, if your own company isn't your own recipes and products and food line. Because you're a mom yeah. who's dealt with it on the street and you know what it's like. And I'll bet there's to... a lot of moms who would need your advice and need your recipes or whatever it is. Do you see how I think right. they all go together beautifully? Yeah, I thought about opening up like almost like a fast food restaurant, like where you could get whole foods, nutritious foods, delicious foods on the go. Because I know with me, like I have two other kids too. So here I am driving. And yeah, right. One of my kids is screaming for McDonald's, but we can't stop at McDonald's because the other kid's allergic to everything. Exactly. So it's like, exactly. I almost thought about opening up a business like that, but. But. 
It's going to take some time. I don't know. T- it's like daunting. I know it's daunting. I know. I know because you're thinking about it right <laughs> now. But you're not ready right now anyway. You're not in I a fi- not. you're not in a financial position to open this thing anyway. Right. So hang on to the dream. Start small. So go so go to school for nutrition. Get the nutrition degree and get into with- yeah, get into the space and get hired, get some experience. All those things I just told you. Okay? All right. Then by the way, this can start tonight. Write down mm-hmm. on an index card. Two recipes. One recipe on one side, one on the other. Or two treats or two pizza alternatives or two I don't care. You're doing this already for one kid. Start logging this right. stuff and then make it hire one of your friends or if you got a friend who's really creative and good with a picture uh, with a camera, have them come over mm-hmm. and take some pictures and why don't you launch a Facebook page tonight? before midnight. Hmm. Miranda, I, I, I know you didn't think of it. <laughs> Do you know how much it costs you to launch a Facebook page tonight before midnight? Nothing. Zero dollars. Miranda's Munchies. That's a terrible name. But at least I came <laughs> but at least I came up with a name. Just like that. And it's an awful right. name, but I got you started. So write that one down and go, now that's the worst name ever for healthy food for kids with allergies, but it's a start. Right. Okay. So here's what you do. You start taking pictures of this stuff. You start posting it. And then moms out there who have kids with allergies, they go, oh my gosh, my friend Miranda's just launched these little things and she's offering the, 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 the and start an email list. Before you know, you got 600 moms on an email list. And, and so here's the point. This is going to be baby steps. Miranda. I hate to tell you this, but this is probably a Ken Coleman-like journey. I need to remind you and our listeners that I've my first live broadcast was high school football play-by-play on the Internet. Two people listened to that. The kid next to me, who was supposedly the color commentator, he didn't know what he was doing. And then my wife, because she's a good woman, and she wanted to say something nice about me when I came home that night. But, I mean, let's just be honest. Uh, it took me nine, ten years to get in the position at Ramsey Solutions, and then another three years before I got a national show. I don't see that the journey's that much different. So you don't just, you know, launch it and launch a fast food, healthy fast food restaurant. You just don't do that. What you do is you begin to learn, you're going to grow, and you're going to connect, and you're going to do this thing on the side and put it out there and be okay with only two people liking your picture of your first recipe. <laughs> you know, you're going to be okay changing the name of this thing seven times if that's what it takes. I don't know what the deal is, but I can tell you this, you can get there. But you can't just sit there and go, oh, it's so daunting. Can't do that. We look at Mount Everest and we say, how long does it take to be able to be trained and get in condition just to get to base camp? And then how long does it take to actually climb up there? And how many times do those missions get cut short by storms and and mudslides and and avalanches and all kinds of craziness? It's going to take a long time. Here's the million dollar question for you, Miranda, and for other Mirandas listening. Is it worth it? Miranda, if I can guarantee that nine years from now, you've got your restaurant, you're making the money you want to make, your kids are healthy, you're helping other kids be healthy, and you're laying your head on the pillow at night going, wow, I can't believe this happened. If I can guarantee that right now, would it be worth it? That's the million dollar question. I'm going to submit to you that it's always worth it. I went through some crazy stuff, rejection, thought I was a lunatic, and it's worth it. 